All right, you're ready to set up a solar system. What's next? I'm going to tell you the four items that you need to think about, what they are, and make them simple. By the end of this video, in the next five minutes, you're going to know what you need to set up a solar system. Here we go. Let's make it very, very easy. The first thing you know you're going to need, most of you already know, you need some kind of battery. A battery is going to allow you to store the solar power that you get. The second item you're going to need is you're going to need a charge. I'm going to put battery here. You're going to need a charge controller. A charge controller does nothing but take the power from your solar panels and put them into your battery safely. It takes the power from your solar panels, which we're going to list over here, which is the third item. So your solar panels, they connect to the charge controller, which in turn takes the power and sends it to the battery. It's as simple as that. The connections for this, I'm going to put the connections in orange. So the charge controller is connected to the, to the battery, and the charge controller is connected to this. It causes the power that is generated to come out of the batteries and to go into, or excuse me, come out of the solar panels and go through the charge controller, adapt it to whatever battery you have, and place that energy in the battery. Believe it or not, that is the very beginning of your solar system. You need one more item in order to make sure that you can get the power out of this. That is what we call an inverter. An inverter inverts the power from the battery and makes it AC power. So, as you can see, this, when you hear these terminology, you will understand that this is your DC system, meaning all of the power in this part of your system runs on DC power. The panels generate DC power, they transfer it to the charge controller in DC power, the panels, the charge controller converts it into a battery power that can be done, and then it's stored there waiting for you to extract it and use it on the next section of your system and the last one that you need. Now, keep in mind, there are thousands of devices to make this much more complicated. Nice features you can add, things like that. But you do not need that to operate a basic solar system in your, in your, um, in your van, in your RV, in your trailer, in your house, you can run anything on a small solar system all the way up to a full-fledged warehouse and stuff. And all of them are going to have these four basic parts. The last one that we talked about is the inverter. The inverter does nothing but take the, I'm gonna use a different color, take the power from the battery and generate you and give you 120 volts AC. This is the same as a house outlet. So basically, the system is complete at this point. You have all the pieces that you need to take solar power bring it into a charge controller, put that in the battery, take the electricity out of the battery, and move it into the inverter. The inverter puts it out as an AC outlet that you can use to run and power any device that you want. It is as simple as that. The more you take, the more you have to put in. The battery goes up, the battery goes down, and that's it. So at this point, you have everything you need to configure and set up a solar system complete from end to end, and I hope this video helps. Give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel and get more videos like this that can help you determine which pieces, what type of battery, what size of battery, and the other elements that you may need to make your solar system run your life and make your life a little easier for you. Thanks for coming. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.